Riley. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And today we'd like to talk to you about the crowd, the tree, and the tax collector. That's kind of a funny name, <laughs> um, but you'll understand it once we get going here. We want to talk to you today about Zacchaeus. Mm. And uh, Zacchaeus was a tax collector who lived in the time that Jesus was around. And Jesus was passing through, I believe it was Jericho. Mm. And there was a crowd that was gathering. And Zacchaeus was doing his tax collector thing and, and um, saw the crowd gathering and wanted to know what was going on. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that Zacchaeus was a short man. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he was of, of short stature. And because he was short, he couldn't see above the people. He couldn't see over the crowd and mm -hmm. see what was going on. But Zacchaeus knew that something important was happening. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we hear a lot about Zacchaeus uh, being short and about the crowd and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. And, and the Bible says that because he was short, he rushed ahead of some of the crowd and he climbed up into a sycamore tree mm -hmm. so that he could see. But, you know, there's a lot of significance in the fact that Zacchaeus took the time and made the effort to climb that tree. Yes. It wasn't just about getting above the crowd and seeing who this was or seeing what the commotion was about. Mm -hmm. See, Zacchaeus was a rich man. Mm -hmm. Because he was a tax collector, he, he didn't lack anything. He yeah. had everything that he wanted. Mm -hmm. He had all the money that he needed. Mm -hmm. And because he was a tax collector, he was looked down on. Mm -hmm. He was looked at by the common everyday person as, as a crook, a thief. Um, you know, tax collectors were not well liked. Mm -hmm. um, and they're probably still not very yeah. well liked today. <laughs> um, but in, in this case, Zacchaeus had no need of anything. Mm -hmm. He didn't lack anything, like I said. And yet, something in him knew that something big was happening. Yeah. Something significant mm -hmm. was happening. And so, because he was short, he knew that if he wanted to see what was going on, he needed to climb that tree. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, it was more than a curiosity thing. Right. You know, he knew that that something big was going on and he had probably heard about Jesus mm -hmm. and you know he wanted to see who this Jesus guy was mm -hmm. but it was more than just seeing who he was there was something in him that pushed him to this right. to climb that tree mm -hmm. so he climbed the tree Jesus came along and saw him up in the tree mm -hmm. and looked up and and called him by name mm. <laughs> and just called him by name mm. and he he Kind of had a short conversation with him and basically said to Zacchaeus, you need to quickly come down out of that tree mm. because I'm going to stay with you tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Zacchaeus's hunch or whatever it was that he felt was yeah. correct in knowing that there was something important going on. Mm. Here comes the Messiah, mm. you know, the, the Savior of the world walking underneath the tree that he's sitting in and saying, Come on down because I need to go to your house. <laughs> I'm going to eat with you and then stay at your house tonight. Mm -hmm. And so Zacchaeus came down and, and they moved on. Mm -hmm. But they had a short conversation and it had to do with being, you know, Zacchaeus mentioned that he was, that he was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. But he, he made sure that he told Jesus mm -hmm. how he conducted his business. Yes. And he told them that, you know, if I wrongfully take from somebody, I restore it to them. Yes. And he went on to talk about a few other things. Mm -hmm. And and Jesus made a statement. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know word for word, but we'll put it up on the screen. But it basically had to do with, you know, because of your confession to me today and because mm -hmm. of your faith in me, because you've, and I'm paraphrasing, you've trusted me with this knowledge mm -hmm. of how you conduct business mm -hmm. and because of that it shows that your faith is true yes and so salvation has come to your house today which is a pretty significant thing yes. when you think about it i feel like he was being transparent with jesus yeah you know he didn't have to say those things right he came out with it mm -hmm. and um and jesus listened and mm -hmm. let him talk and right. share with him what he had in his heart mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just so important that we do the same, right. you know, that we open right. up and that we share the things that we have in our heart. 
Yeah. You know, even though, you know, God sees everything and he knows everything, it's mm -hmm. good for us to confess and to say these things, right. you know, and, mm -hmm. and Zacchaeus did that. Right. And, and because he did, it allowed Jesus to then turn the conversation yes. and talk about salvation. Yes. And, you know, in, in the crowd, there were, there were what I would call naysayers mm -hmm. and, and basically they were. They were gossipers, mm -hmm. and because Jesus invited himself to, mm -hmm. he invited Zacchaeus down from the tree, but told Zacchaeus, I'm coming to your house, yes. which of course Zacchaeus <laughs> had no problem with. So, you know, Jesus, I shouldn't say he invited himself, but he basically said to Zacchaeus, here, here's what's going to happen. Yes. And so the people in the crowd who looked down on tax collectors mm. also looked down on Jesus mm. and started murmuring in the background yes. about, well, who is this guy that's supposed to be the Messiah mm. and supposed to be this and this, and now he's going to eat with a tax collector? Yes. You know, what's the deal with that? Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus didn't have to answer to them, mm -hmm. and he didn't. That's right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what you were saying about being transparent is, is true because. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have a tendency to not be transparent. Mm -hmm. And in, in the natural sense, in the real world, that's probably a good thing that we aren't as transparent and open as we can be with God. Because if we were transparent with everybody and told everybody everything that we think, we probably wouldn't have any friends. <laughs> We'd be in trouble. We, we have no friends left. Yeah. So, because that's just how life is. Yeah. And, you know, we all have things that bother us things mm. that irritate us and if yes. we were to go around telling everybody everything that irritated us about them mm. we wouldn't have anybody left so right. but with God we can go to God and mm -hmm. we can we can express ourselves yes. we can vent as the saying goes yes. we can tell him what's bothering mm. us and you know maybe things that are bothering us about other people it may be things that are bothering us about our situation, mm -hmm. maybe like you were talking about earlier, maybe we, maybe we work somewhere and, mm -hmm. and somebody at work really bugs us because we're not being treated properly. Right. Um, there's so many things that, that we can talk to God about, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of times we do, we hold back. Yes. You know, we're, we're almost afraid to go to God and say things, mm -hmm. but God knows what's, what's in here and yes. in here already. Mm -hmm. you know? So why do we hold back? Because a lot of times if we will open up to God, mm -hmm. We'll learn from it. Yes. You know, he'll teach us things mm -hmm. about how we're feeling, why we're feeling that way. And yes. sometimes he can show us what needs to be changed That's in right. us. That's right. Exactly. Yes. So that we can change the way we feel mm -hmm. or give us a different perspective on things. And a lot of times things are all about perspective. That's right. It's how we see things. So mm -hmm. if God can uh, adjust our perspective and maybe even adjust our attitude a little bit, you know, we can see things differently. Yes, absolutely. You know? You know, it's just so important that we stay transparent with God. Mm. You know, every day, That's right. you know, when we walk wherever we go, mm -hmm. you know, we have to be careful, you know, for the time and saying things in a certain time, mm -hmm. you know, or saying things a certain way. But with right. God, we can open up. Right. We can open up when we go yep. to Him. So don't let that run over into our prayer time with Him, right. into our relationship right. with him mm -hmm. with, with him it's different right. you know Zacchaeus opened up and, and, yep. and talked to him about that right. he wanted him to know that he 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 tries to do things the best mm -hmm. of his ability you know to to do the right thing for the people and if right. if he wasn't he would restore it or he yeah. would want to do the right restored up to four times what he what he owed them yes you know so yeah he was being transparent with Jesus and it was that transparency that that caused Jesus to open up and talk to him more. Yes. You know? And so. salvation came through that. Yeah. You know, and I think that's, that's a really beautiful cool. thing. You know, yeah. salvation came through that. Right. That's huge, mm -hmm. you know. And, and we were talking just a minute ago before we started recording, and the fact that Zacchaeus was a rich man, mm -hmm. and Jesus proclaimed right there and said, salvation has come to this house, mm -hmm. is, is an encouragement because in another scripture, mm -hmm. Jesus himself said it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle mm -hmm. than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven that's right so see it is possible for mm -hmm. a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven yes. it's not impossible 
It's possible, mm -hmm. but our priorities have to be That's straight. Right. Our heart has to be right. Exactly. You know, we, we have to want to do the right thing, yeah. no matter what everybody else is doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, um, whatever those other tax collectors did. Right. You know, Zacchaeus didn't follow suit. Right. He did what he mm -hmm. knew was right in his heart. Right. You know, and so. his his priorities were straight. Yes. His heart was right mm -hmm. because it's the it's the condition of the heart that prevents any rich person from entering the kingdom. That's right. When their wealth comes up here and, and everything else is down here, including God, that's where they run into trouble. That's right. And it shows us that rich people don't have everything. <laughs> right, exactly. He needed Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, he needed Jesus to come to his home that's and right. he needed to talk to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he that's did. Right. And, yep. and Jesus came. So rich, rich people don't have everything. They no. need Jesus. <laughs> we all need Jesus. Amen. Amen. So... I'm going to wrap things up, but uh, I'd like to pray with you guys, yes. and then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye. Yes. So, Father, we just thank you yes. for your word. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we can be transparent with you. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Father, that you know our hearts. Yes. You, you know do. our thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know what the words are that we're going to speak before yes. we even speak them. Somebody and none of it bothers you, Father God. None of it scares you. You're not afraid to correct us when we need to be corrected. You're not afraid to give us counsel when we need counsel. And God, you know how to comfort us yes. when we need comforting. Yes. And Lord, you know everything about us. You know what we need. And we thank you for yeah, that. Thank we you. thank you that you're faithful yes. to not only just provide for us, mm -hmm. but to chasten us when we yes. need to be chastened, to, to hold us tightly when we need to yes. be held tightly, to, to soothe us when we need soothing, to comfort us when we need comforting, to give us joy when we're feeling sorrowful. And God, we thank you that that your word shows us everything. Yes. That even in this little story with, with Zacchaeus climbing a sycamore tree, that there's more to it, God, than, than just the fact that Zacchaeus was short. But God, you're showing us that there is significance in every little piece of your word. And we thank you for that. And God, I just we just pray for your joy over everyone yes. that's watching this video. Yes, we just speak your peace over their homes. Yes. Father God, where there is turmoil and where there is chaos, let peace reign. Where there is sorrow, let joy come in and replace that sorrow. And Father God, we just speak healing, healing over relationships and marriages today. We speak healing healing over broken bodies. We speak healing over diseased bodies. And Father God, your hand is not incapable of anything. Your arm is not short. Your eyes are not blind. Your ears are not deaf. You see everything. You hear everything. And you are able to do everything. We thank you, Father, that you are our Lord and our God. We thank you for the Savior that you sent to take away the sins of the world. We thank you, Father God, that with salvation, there can also come healing and restoration and so many other things. And we just thank you, we praise you, we give you glory and honor for all that you do. And we pray in the precious, mighty, awesome name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope it's spoken to you in, in some way. Maybe it's touched things, uh, raised up, brought up some things in you that you never even knew were there. Yes. And and most of all, you know, we just we just want to see joy in your life. Yes. We want to see your lives fruitful. Yes. And we just just want to see all of you blessed. Yes. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and we will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.